Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This week I'm trying to finish up with the welding here in the rear cabin. I ordered the seals for the windows. Hopefully they will come in early next week. And if we are lucky, maybe by the end of next week we will be able to finish up at least the, the basic structure of the rear cabin. What else can I say? It is really cold today. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So. Join me for another week of fun and... No, that's too good. And we're off. I started by removing the remaining windows. Now that I had figured out the best technique for this, it was done in a heartbeat. Here again, some areas are so rotten that the material needs to be cut out and replaced. First I draw the outline of the piece I'm going to replace. Next comes the cutting and precision fitting. Once the part fits perfectly, it's time to make some points with the stick welder to keep the part in place. So after first making some welding points to fix the part in place, I could then proceed to fill in the gaps. The same on the outside. I'm happy to announce that I made some progress in my welding skills. While I consider myself to be still at amateur level, I feel much more confident about these welds. Some of them are actually not too bad. I then ground away the excess material to make the surface flat again. After the usual round of sanding and cleaning, I put on a layer of rust converter, then primer, and finally I filled in the remaining gaps and uneven areas with filler paste. I then let this rest and cure, and I will continue with this next week. The other project of this week was to strengthen the floor structure by adding angle profiles running perpendicular to the existing beams. For this I had to precisely cut the steel profiles to make them fit between the beams. To create an even surface for the new wood floor, they have to be completely flush with the existing structure. I then went ahead and welded the new piece into place, but because these elements actually have to withstand some force, I had to test the strength of my welds. To show you what happened next, I have to slow down the time lapse here. So I stumped with the heel of my foot onto the profile which I just welded in and BAM! It went right through and I had to start over. Because I didn't want to take any chances here, I called a good friend who came and helped me with the welds the next day. We then went on as a team to put in the profiles which I cut beforehand. My friend even managed to bridge quite a large gap between two pieces. And I know, Welding over a bunch of plastic bags is a recipe for disaster. They actually did catch on fire a few times, so better put them away next time. My friend is a family man, so he could only stay a couple of hours. After he left, I finished the job on my own, applying what I learned from him just before. And here's the final result. With that, I will say goodbye to you and hopefully you'll join us again next week.